So this started maybe about 28 years ago when I had gestational diabetes. I was good for a few years. And then maybe the past 15 to 20 years, I became a diabetic. So I was on oral medication. And then maybe the past five years, I became, as I was aging, I thought, this is a lifelong disease. I really need to take care of myself. So I started really starting to pay attention to this whole diabetes thing. Two years ago, I started drinking it. And at the same time, I was on the Libra Freestyle patch. I could monitor before breakfast, after breakfast, lunch and dinner with my patch and drinking the tea. I realized that my numbers were getting better. It never was that great. It's been about two years between the Libra Freestyle patch sensor and your tea. So during this time, my medication had dropped drastically. I was on 1000 milligrams metformin twice a day, um, taking maybe a couple other diabetes medication. But the last year or so with the T, I was able to drop my metformin to 500 milligrams once a day. All my other medications started slowly dropping. Then maybe about a few months ago, um, my kids and the grandkids, we went to Disneyland. I forgot to bring my tea. And it was a fast trip, five days. And I knew I was gonna do a lot of exercise because on my watch, it averaged, we walked 10 miles a day. So even though I had my medication, you know, I was eating pretty good. I thought with the diet and exercise, but no tea now for five days. I kept wondering when I checked myself with the sensor, why were my numbers not really great? Because I'm really exercising and dieting. I got home, went back on the tea, and then all of a sudden I went, Oh, the numbers came back again, really good. And I went, oh my gosh, just the five days not drinking the tea had made, I was ready to call the doctor and say, hey, you know what? My numbers are getting bad again. You might have to increase some or tweak my medications. But then I realized it was the tea. So even though I was exercising a lot, I didn't have the tea. And I think the tea really makes a difference regarding blood glucose, cholesterol, um, and I guess with everything else, diet and exercise. So now I'm kind of like, you cannot forget the tea when you go on vacation. You still need the tea. I'm just excited again, you know, because this is like a lifelong disease that we just have to control and do the best, you know, with diet, exercise and everything else with the tea. So I think that tea has tremendously helped in the two years. The tea tastes great. I drink it hot and cold. When I first make it, I drink it hot. Then the, towards the rest of the day, I'll put, because I make it in a whole little liter, put that in the refrigerator. And then all day I have it already made. I don't have to seat with every cup. So, you know, then it gets way easier. You never go without it. When I go to work, I put it in one of those containers and then I'll drink one before I eat and after again. So it's, it's good, hot or cold. And yes, I, I've been using two bags now as I make my batch.